right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have some larger works. We have some pictures uh, we're going to see now. I think there's about six of them mm -hmm. coming yes, up. Yes, yes. Okay. And these are um, in people's homes? As, so. Yes, this is actually an uh, Italian furniture store. The interior designer um, used my painting and uh, I, I never thought that this work would work with um, Italian, contemporary Italian furniture very well. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Next. And the next one is in a living room. With a, this one is coated with epoxy resin, so you see some reflection there. I, I see the reflection, uh -huh. yes. Yes. And the way it matches the pillows are nice. Uh -huh. Next. Ah. And this one was commissioned to me, and I was um, told to match the color to the couch. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then next one, I'm going to uh, show. This is the largest piece. Uh, now, this I one have. is a little hard to see. I wish I could see this one in person. Um, describe, uh, I'm seeing a lot, a lot of color in there, so. Tell me what I'm looking at. Oh, this is a hallway of a bookstore. Yes. And there are two paintings on, on each the side both of it. sides okay. of it. All Basically right. the same landscaping. The lines are running up and down. Yes. yes. And on the right side is uh, 15 feet wide. And the left side wow. is 11 feet wide. And in the next um, picture, I'm going to show you how it looks like. The same, Look uh, same picture, but it's hang. Vertically. Ah, oh, wow. And then I had a, a hard time selling this because it's, you have to have a very big house and uh, uh, it's hard to find somebody like that. So, <laughs> uh, but last year I put it in, in the internet for the heck of it. <laughs> and then uh, suddenly this, um, somebody in Chicago purchased it. Uh, mm -hmm. That's hard to sell art on the internet. Yes. Uh, it is. Especially but, something so large. Uh -huh. And this one this here? This one is um, um, to show the epoxy resin coating. So you can see the reflection. Yes. And this, um, in the middle, the reflection is the owner of the painting. And huh. she found my art on Craigslist. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. That's good. Very mm -hmm. good. So, so you do big, big ones. It seems like you're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yes, yes. Oh, uh, now, do you like that? Do you like going big? Uh, sure, sure, yeah. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, let, let's go way, way back to the very beginning when you uh -huh. did your first piece. Because, you uh -huh. know, I, it's got so much energy. I really like the piece, but it doesn't look easy to me. So uh -huh. what was going on through your head when you first started this? Uh -huh. The way it started was I was in New York, visiting New York and in the, uh, for vacation, just one week vacation. I went to an art gallery and saw a very big um, drawing of lines. And I was very impressed and I became very curious um, to see if it was going to be relaxing to do it, not just looking. So I went back home uh, to uh, Miami, Florida and I tried it. And then as it turned out, it was not relaxing at all. <laughs> because um, it, I, I, it was impossible to keep my hand steady and the, even like in exhaling, inhaling. Oh, yes. I didn't think and of that. And if yes. I move this arm, this arm moves. I mean, you can't really move other part of body without, you know, with the, the, just one part of body steady. So, and I was sweating and nervous and I had to focus so much for such a long time. Yes. So the phone rings, I would jump. Oh, like that. yes. So it was not relaxing at all. But when <sighs> I looked at what I made, it was very soothing to look at. So I guess, um, you know, it's, it's much easier to watch a TV program than making one TV program, right? <laughs> no? <laughs> so maybe it's so, you know, um, but, but because of this soothing effect and also the challenge, to make uh, as many interesting composition um, as possible. Do you like have the music on when you? Because I know when I paint, I like to have music. Do you put music on to help you relax? Um, in the beginning, I had to put music on, but I, I, I've been doing so many, I mean, not so many years, but long enough that I can do it in uh, yeah. under strange conditions mm. now. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so that first one was hard, and you just kept at it. You didn't give up. That's the thing. You didn't right. give up. You because just because I really liked the outcome of it. But now yeah. I don't get that nervous, and um, uh, I don't know why. But I think I learned that um, it works just fine if I don't think about it too much, mm. like think about bodies shaking, or film, or something like that. Now you told me that you like to share this with other people. So mm -hmm. what 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 do you find rewarding to share? Um, people find it very soothing, and especially like people with a very stressful job. They uh, buy my art and put it in their home, and they tell me that uh, when they go home, um, they can they can relax with my painting. And my paint these these are just lines, so it doesn't. Yes. I I feel like um, um, we live in uh, information overload time, so we don't need more information on the wall at home. And yes. I think that um, uh, that's why. People like so just painting. relaxing and something that you you don't really have to identify what it is, right? And but you can then see it you reminds want. us of the simplicity, mm -hmm. and I think uh, that's uh, the attraction of m my paintings. Yes, mm -hmm. I, well, that and the rhythm. I, I can't. That's what I noticed when I first met you. It mm -hmm. was just the rhythm. Uh, it, it reminded me of curtains that were like moving.